this day with you? Today, the Holy Mother Church celebrates the Feast of St. Thomas the Apostle. In the first reading of today, St. Paul reminds us through the Ephesians that we are no longer strangers or sojourners, but fellow citizens with the saints, under the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, upon which Christ himself is the cornerstone. This was the beautiful company that St. Thomas abandoned when he left the apostles after the death of Christ. And so, he could not believe that Christ actually resurrected. It was a week of melancholy for St. Thomas, but a joyful celebration for the apostles who actually witnessed the resurrection of Christ. This is predicated on the fact that the news of Christ's resurrection was too great for St. Thomas to accept without personal conviction. My beloved brothers and sisters, in our terrible moments or in our gory situations, let us learn to find solace in the company of the saints, in the company of Christians, there we find consolation and share our troubles with them. Problems shared, our problems have solved. However, there are two special qualities that I treasure so much about St. Thomas. And they are his spirit of uncompromising honesty and the sincere devotion to whatever he is convinced. He was never a kind of man who would rattle off a creed without understanding what it is all about. His doubt was a type that arrives at certainty, and such certainty builds ultimate faith. He was not doubting not to believe, but doubting to build the, his faith in Christ. This is the type of clarification we ought to search for. St. Thomas was not airing his doubts just for the sake of mental acrobatics or philosophical exercise. Rather, he doubted in order to be sure. And when he became sure, he surrendered to certainty. And that certainty was complete. No wonder he declared, My Lord and my God, the most complete expression of faith in the entire gospel. My beloved brothers and sisters, whenever we are confused in the arena of faith, let us make effort to seek for clarification. And may we allow our clarification to be geared towards our salvation and never for our condemnation. May God grant us the grace of St. Thomas through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you.